Hi everyone! So it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I still want to make videos, I still want to come on and talk to you guys and give you updates about my hair. This is kind of a hair update, hair chatter video, and then a new product that I was sent that I want to review for you guys later. So if you want to see all of that, then just keep watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you've just joined my channel and you've subscribed, well thank you. And if you're one of the regulars, then welcome back. Um, today I want to talk about my hair and how frustrating I, frustrated I am with it. Uh, I like that I'm getting lots of growth and I like that my hair is getting longer. Um, I'm a little sad that my diva cut has kind of grown out completely, but my goal by December is to have 20 inches of hair at the longest point, so I've been doing lots of protective styling. I try to record videos of all the protective styles I do. Sometimes I do them on a whim so I don't record it, and I need to be better about that. But today I'm going to talk about this ridiculous kind of talk about this bun and why I have it. Um, this bun is nothing complex, it's just stretched natural hair in a bun on the top of my head. And it's something I've been doing a lot of lately. It's nothing fancy, it's just what I need to do. We've hit 118 degrees last week, so it's really hot. And it's Arizona, so yeah, that happens. But it doesn't happen this early, you know, it's like the beginning of June and it's already really hot, so that's a little frustrating. And another thing I've been running into, along with it being really hot and needing my hair off my neck, is now that my hair is getting really long, I've been dealing with this problem of matting. Like my hair is matting and it's very irritating. What I mean by that is I wear wash and go, uh, or I like to wear wash and go because it's easy for me. Like I like how it's big and curly and it's like my favorite hairstyle to wear. But now that it's long and my hair has been touching the back of my neck, all this hair in the, in the nape area has been matting like crazy. Like by the end of day two, beginning of day three, I've got mats. Not just like I'm losing definition in my wash and go. Literal mats in the back and it takes an eternity to detangle. So by wash day, um, I'm spending 45 minutes, an hour and a half detangling my hair and I'm just over it. I'm, I can't even, no. I'm over the detangling every wash day. I want my hair to grow out, so I need to retain the length definitely and constantly combing through tons of knots is just counterproductive. So what I've been doing the past like couple weeks is stretching it in a heatless blowout and my heatless blowout is nothing fancy. If you guys want me to make a video then give me a thumbs up. I do like six or eight large two strand twists and I twist it all over my hair and I let it dry overnight and then the next day I untwist it and then I comb it out and then it looks big like a blowout. I'm not twisting it to get definition, it's just to stretch the hair. So I do that and then the rest of the week I wear it in a certain updo. Today was, I was in a rush so it's just a bun, nothing fancy. Sometimes I do things a little more elaborate but at work it's easier actually to have my hair out of my face to wear my headphones for the radio station so it's a win-win. I don't really like the way my face looks when my hair is not around my face but I also, I don't really like detangling my hair, so not detangling my hair wins over having hair on my face. And because it's so hot, it's it only makes sense. <laughs> so, where was I? Uh, so I've been wearing my hair in stretched protective styles to help with the detangling at the end of wash day because when it's stretched out like this, uh, there are no knots, there are no mats. Uh, and then I'm happy. If you guys are running into that problem, let me know what you do to help combat it. For now, I'm putting the wash and goes to the side because ugh, I just can't. I can't. So that is where we are. That is where Kalana is. Kalana's been stretched out. And I think it helps with length, reten length retention. It's actually easier to seal in the moisture too, I found. Uh, when I do it wet and make sure I put in lots of leave-in conditioner and then I put in more oil than I would normally do before a wash and go, use the oil to seal in the moisture and then through the whole week my hair is still moisturized and soft. So maybe uh, not so bad after all. Second part of this video is a review of a product that was sent to me. The company name is Firmu. It's a global online optical store. 
and they sent me a pair of reading glasses. There is a discount code for new users of Fermu, so if you wear eyeglasses or you need glasses for reading or anything, I think they also might have sunglasses, um, check the description box below for a discount code. So these glasses I picked out, um, I only wear them for reading at work, so they're single vision um, reading glasses. And I really like them. I like that they fit perfectly. Like I, I took an old pair of reading glasses I had and you're supposed to kind of like compare your glasses to the glasses on their site because it'll show you the millimeters of, you know, the distance of the lenses and how long the, the earpieces and all of that good stuff. Things that you need to know for buying a pair of glasses to make sure that they're going to fit. I decided to branch out and get a different color instead of just like your classic black. And I have to say, I wish I had gotten black just because, I don't know, I don't really like the way the red looks on my face. Maybe you guys like it. I will still wear them. I will still use them. They are excellent glasses. The color is not horrible, but I think if I buy glasses from them again, I'll just get the, the black version. These, I don't know, I feel like I have to make sure my outfit matches. And maybe I don't. Maybe I'm ridiculous. <laughs> and when they came in the mail, they came with this little bag. Um, it's, it's, I don't know if you could call it microfiber, but you could put the glasses in here if you didn't want to use the case. It also comes with an eyeglass repair kit. Like it's got two little screws, it's got extra nose pads, and a keychain um, screwdriver. And that's awesome. I have never ordered a pair of reading glasses that came with an eyeglass repair kit. Like these are the perfect fit for these glasses. So you don't have to like buy the generic brand to try to fix your glasses when they break. I was really excited about that. The case that it came in looks like this. It's got like a, a map detail on it. There's a little ship on the back here. Um, it's, it's sturdy, you know, it's not like a really cheap case and it says fermu.com on it. And then it came with a um, eyeglass cleaning wipe. I can't find the words today, but it came with this and uh, it's really soft and it's really big. Like, I like that this is really big. Most of the ones you get, they're like a quarter of this size and you're using this tiny little square to like fix your lens. Oh, I can't stand that. So I was really glad that they sent me that this came with it. And when the glasses came, it was actually, they were actually wrapped up inside this. So the lenses were protected and then this was closed and then the little bag was also in the package. And it came really quickly, you know, I, I ordered them and they came within about eight day, eight, yeah, seven days, seven business days, which was really cool. And the one thing I really liked, when you order your glasses, if you make a mistake, you can make one change. And really when they say that, you can send them a note before your order goes from pending to processing. So when I ordered mine, um, you know, the lenses were right, I got anti-reflective and you know, they're already anti-scratch. Um, but I put the prescription in wrong. Uh, I was using an old prescription, so I needed to change the magnification. But basically you go into your order and you click make a change, and then I typed in what I wanted to change. Please change the prescription from X to Y, you know. You can also say change my address, change the whatever, but you can only do it one time. And so I did that. I was like, I need to change the prescription. I got a note saying, we received your uh, change. Someone will get back to you to make sure that it goes through. And then I got another note like three hours later saying, thank you for your comment. We will change your magnification like you've requested. And then they came and they were perfect. So the company is really easy to work with. The glasses I think are incredibly reasonably priced. And uh, I have a, a nose that like has no bridge. I don't know if you, yeah. And my glasses always slip down. Like I'm constantly pushing them up. So I like the pair with the little nose pads, and that's the one I got. They are the perfect fit. I'm so glad I, I can't say this enough, I'm so glad that I like made sure they were the right fit because they don't fall. They don't fall, like I put my head down, they stay right on my face. Okay, I'm ridiculous, but they, I like them, I do. Ultimately, I like these classes. And uh, if you are in need of a pair, check out for Moo. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's been a while. I know this is kind of a random chatter video, hair product, product review kind of video, but uh, 
thank you guys so much for watching um, and for staying through the end of the review be sure to check the description box for all details um, subscribe to my channel that way you can be alerted of all the new videos I make share with a friend and uh, leave a comment below and until next time bye <laughs>